Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm at the 2013 Farm Progress Show in Decatur, Illinois, and I'm here with uh, Marion Palmer with uh, Palmer Cornheads. And uh, Marion, I think you've got one of the most interesting items at the show here. Uh, you have just released a 12-inch, a 30-row 12-inch cornhead. Why don't you uh, tell us about it? That's amazing. Yeah, it, uh, as far as we know, it's the world's first 30-row cornhead. And we're going to work with the Guinness Book of World Records and uh, hope to, to, to set some new all-time records there. Um, the 12-inch rows is, is kind of an exciting thing that's that's just been added in the last couple of years. Okay. And you're, uh, you were telling me uh, necessity is the mother of invention. You've got some aggressive growers out there that you know they're coming to you uh, looking yeah. for a solution. Yeah. And the... Um, you know, we've been working with 15-inch rows since the middle 90s, and everybody asks about populations and things like that. Yep. And as you move to the narrow rows, you've kind of got to be able to coordinate the genetics, the population, the fertilizer, and the machinery to, to make it all happen. Right. And if it's done correctly, you get a nice yield advantage. Well, right. uh, we met up with uh, Harry Stein from, from Iowa okay. that, that, that owns Stein Seed, sure. and he was on 20s, okay. and he said, you know, he said, I've got two hybrids out of all, everything that I work with that he said I think would really be um, exciting in their rows, and we're talking populations of up to 50,000 plants per wow. acre. So Harry's dream and Harry's formula is that uh, we're going to go with a third pound ear, okay. and at 51,000, you go home do the arithmetic on it, that is exactly 300 bushel dry corn per acre. 300 bushel. Area. Now last year he came pretty close, okay. um, and I saw it grow in the field, and I was pretty impressed. Okay. So we're using some of those genetics at home. It's got sure. about two hybrids, a little shorter, okay. um, upright leaf, but that smaller ear, and not much of a tassel. Okay. So Harry wanted to go to 12-inch rows, so that's okay. what brought us to the 12-inch corn. Now, how difficult was this to, to make? They, the 12-inch head was a challenge. Um, I had a vision in my mind of what it would take. Okay. Um, we had to amputate one side of the gearbox. is kind of how, uh, how we call it in the okay. shop anyway. <laughs> um, the corn head does still have two stock rolls on it, yeah. but it only has one gathering chain, which utilizes one of our inventions, okay. and an ear guide on the opposing side. Okay. Um, this one's also equipped with auto header height. Believe it or not, it has hydraulic plates on it in 12-inch okay. rows, okay. and it also has the ability to go up and down okay. by itself. It has row sense on it, um, the true sight from the head sight people, and uh, so it's got all the bells and whistles, and last but not least, Harry wanted to know if we could make it chop. Make it chop. So we have the BT choppers on here, and we can turn the corn stalk into confetti as we go down through. There's uh, nothing this thing won't do. That's exactly right. And it's kind of like Henry Ford said, whether you think you can right. or think you can't, you're right. Now, did, did I catch that? Do you have an engineering background then, Marion? Or People ask me that quite uh, a bit. My ancestors were blacksmiths. In uh, Sweden? I, I, from Sweden. Okay. And, they and, came and, over and that's here. the name? Uh, from Kalmerland in Sweden is, okay. is where the name came from. Kalmerland. Okay. Kalmerland. And so... Um, that would have been your great-great-grandfather? That is, that is correct. Uh, okay. And so they settled in the uh, Alpha Woodhall area there, uh, about an hour northwest of Peoria. Okay. And um, and then a couple of the brothers moved on, went out to Iowa, but okay. one of the brothers stayed there and opened his own little blacksmith okay. shop. Nice. And so it's kind of in our background and sure. our genetics. But um, I uh, from high what, school went. What, went what on. got you? I mean, so what what year did you come out with your fifteen? You just made a fifteen row, fifteen inch head. Right. The the first fifteen inch row corn head came out in nineteen ninety five. Ninety five. And and at that time they were just you know experimental prototypes that right. I was building and testing. Okay. To further, we didn't actually start building and selling things until about the year of two thousand and two. Okay. Two thousand two. 2002 is when okay. we started selling. And so not only do we build corn heads, narrow row corn heads, we build wide row corn heads. Yeah. Uh, but we also build uh, improvement parts. Improvement. Okay. And so the BT chopper is a stock roll that we'll put on John Deere and Case corn heads. Yeah. Um, we have sprockets, chains, different mm -hmm. plates, a lot of those kind of things. Well, I know I've seen some auction prices on your heads over the years, and I can tell there's always a lot of interest in them yeah. when they show up. Hard to, you know, people excited for the opportunity to buy a good used one on the auction yeah. market. So I, I guess, it, you know, from a, a engineering background, I, I don't have one, but the common sense, you know, when mm -hmm. I went to college, they taught me how to grow corn, soybeans, and pigs. Yeah. But I came home and I had this passion for working with machinery. Okay. And at the end of the day, the people that come in and out of my tent, whether I sell them something, it's not right. that big a deal. But I like the fact that I've had an opportunity to help them. Right. 
um, grow a better crop sure. or get their machinery to work a little bit better. And sometimes a couple minor adjustments and a farmer is just like, gosh, why didn't somebody tell me that right. sooner? Well, you, you know that people are going to, from the show, you're going to go back to all points and be talking about your corn head here. Oh, yeah. Uh, There's been a lot of... What's been the reaction? Now, it's day one of the show. What reaction are you getting? We were overwhelmed. Yeah. I, and I'm flattered and emotional over it. Yeah. The, the number of people that have been in the tent here today has been... Just and I understand you had an unusual request uh, to show up a little early today at the oh, show. Yeah. Tell us about that. They, uh, the local uh, TV station here um, asked if I would come out and do an interview this morning. And I said, yeah. sure. And she said, can you be here at 4 a.m.? Because we'd like to go live at 5 o'clock. <laughs> and so I can, I can tell you the parking's not a problem at 4 a.m. in the morning out here at the Farm <laughs> Progress Show. Probably a little cooler, too. Yeah. Right? So it, it was kind of fun, you know, yeah. something. And we got to explain a little bit about how we as farmers are progressing, right. moving into new technology. Right. Well, Marion, hats off for what you've done here, uh, building the company. And, and it, your website, if folks want to go check it out online, is? Yes. CalmerCornheads.com. CalmerCornheads.com. All right. Well, I hope you. Well, I know you'll have a great show here, Marion. And thanks for uh, visiting with us. You betcha. Good to congratulations talk to you. on uh, creating something totally awesome. The world's first 12-inch cornhead. Awesome.